What's up, gamers? I'm John. This is my level of news where I bring you news every week. The top news I gather from around the web so you don't know. Today's Tuesday, March 26, 2024. Let's get you leveled up with today's news. Hell Diver 2 players are always asking for help to make sure everything goes as planned. One day or week, you're going after multiple planets, while other times you're trying to make sure you get to one planet. The thing that everyone doesn't get is strategy, or at least they ignore them and want to do their own thing. Looking for people to do the exact same activity all at once is damn near impossible because everyone is always chasing something different. This week, players are trying to take down Automaton and Mantis, and they're losing the fight. Everyone is off doing their own thing. Hopefully, everybody can get a line and help each other out. That leaked Stellar Blade demo from a couple of weeks ago will be going live on PlayStation on March 29th. There weren't a lot of people that got to play it because PlayStation took it down so fast, but the ones that did play it had a blast with it and had a blast making content from it. The full game is set to release on April 26, and if you play the demo, you get to carry that over to the full game. Well, this Scrolls is celebrating 30 years in the gaming industry, but that's as old as it probably most loves franchise. There are many games that have come out in the Elder Scrolls universe, but none greater than Skyrim, which till this day people are playing like it's part of their life. Just wanted to give a happy anniversary to Elder Scrolls. As more and more gamers get their hands on Dragon Dogma 2, more and more people are loving it, and for what the game is. A wild ride that at one point you can go from collecting herbs to getting attacked by harpies, or you just get dozed off in a cart ride and suddenly you're up against a cyclops pissed off and targeting you. Whatever the case may be, the game is absolutely fun in many ways. Over the weekend, it hit another milestone on Steam. Steam numbers got up to 228,000 concurrent Steam players. This makes Dragon Dogma the first Capcom game to break 220,000 concurrent players on Steam. Even with the bomb reviews, players are giving it at Steam because of performance issues, it's still hitting these numbers. Let's hope they can turn these negative reviews into something positive. And finally, GameRite has a great article on theories for Death Stranding 2 and what's to come in those walls story. There are speculations saying that Ellie Fanny and Nicolas Cage will be making surprise appearances. I'm Exclusive is one that's been all in our head because the first one got to go to PC, though this one might be going to PC faster than the first one. There's also speculation that the game will be more action based than I woke a simulator. At the end of the trailer, Dale Gojima thanks NASA for using the CGI moon, and that could be in Sam might be going to the book. There's a whole lot more in the article, and I'll have it linked down below. <laughs> and with that bundle of gaming news, I hope you got enough experience points to level up your gaming knowledge today. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the little bell notification so you don't miss any videos coming out.